Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today, as we get all prepped and excited for the Super Bowl tomorrow, I thought I'd open some 2020 football. This is uh, Chronicles football, and we get the possibility of pulling quite a few good rookie cards. Uh, if you've watched the channel before and I've talked about football, you may have heard me say that I think 2020 is a great great year for pulling football rookie cards, much better than 2021. You can get uh, all kinds of great stuff out of here. If you see on the front, Joe Burrow, who is the starting quarterback tomorrow for the Bengals. Justin Herbert, great quarterback for the Chargers. And of course, Tua for the uh, Miami Dolphins. And there are lots of other really great rookies you can pull from here. Some great wide receivers, C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Jerry Judy. And uh, of course, the one that I'm probably most excited to pull would be that awesome running back from Indianapolis, Jonathan Taylor, who uh, just tore it up this year. He looked awesome, and uh, I think that would be a really nice one to pull. So we're going to get into that and uh, open those. But first, we have some contest business to take care of. We uh, have a couple of... I'm going to just put that in the background here, and we'll get to that in a moment. We have a couple of things related to the contest. The contest, I'm going to draw it right now, right here on this channel. But before I do that, votes were kind of split on whether I should show the cards that the winner is going to receive at their home or if I should let the winner show them. And so I'm going to split it. I'm going to show a couple and I'm going to let the winner show a couple. That seems only right. Uh, if the winner, if I, whoever I poll today and in just a couple of minutes here, if the winner doesn't have their own channel, then I... I will probably then show all of the rest of the cards, but uh, most of the people who subscribe to my channel seem to have their own channels, which is uh, which is really great, and uh, it's it's really helped me uh, learn about some awesome channels that uh, I have started to follow and really enjoy. So let's show you a couple of the cards that the winner is going to receive. Remember, they're going to get a uh, Hall of Famer from uh, hockey. They're going to get a rookie card of a Hall of Famer from hockey, a rookie card of a Hall of Famer from football, a signed and numbered baseball Hall of Famer. And that uh, signed and numbered card is one I'm going to reveal today. It's numbered to 25, so it's a very low number, and it is signed, and it is a Hall of Famer that I think many of you have seen play. And uh, there's also a Pokemon card from one of the first three sets, a rare foil from that, the first appearance of that Pokemon. And then I've added a fifth card that I know the winner is going to cherish and be thrilled with as part of their collection. I found another copy of this beautiful 1973 uh, Leading Fireman card. Uh, I, when I did the opening of, of uh, this on the channel, you'll remember that uh, I was really taken by the photo of Clay Carroll. And so I'm going to send this off to the winner. And I know they're really going to enjoy it, and maybe they'll incorporate it into uh, using on their channel. I don't know, but it's a delightful card. And so that's also going to go out to the winner, and I may throw in some other cards too. You know how I am. But uh, that's one of them that's going to go out to the winner. I'll put that over here off to the side. And here's another one that's going to go to the winner. This is the football card, a rookie Hall of Famer, and it is Troy Aikman. There you go. Troy Aikman rookie card going out to the winner, and that is... Uh, Absolutely fresh from the uh, box, never played. That is from the Topps Traded Set from 1989. And uh, that is a, a really fantastic card in great condition. I think the winner will enjoy that. And the last card I'm going to show that the winner is going to uh, take home today is the baseball card. And I'm going to cover up the name and just show you the... Uh, here's the number there. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on that. There you go. You can see it as number... 18 or is that 16? I think that's 18 out of 25. And let's flip it over and you can see who this is. It is Trevor Hoffman. And there is his kind of interesting signature, actually. I kind of like his signature. I'm getting a terrible glare. Like, there we go. That's a little better. So Trevor Hoffman, X Factor, signed and numbered card. Hoffman, of course, one of the greatest relievers in the history of baseball. I think when he retired, he was the saves leader at that time. So those are two of the cards. There's also going to be a Pokemon card and a Hockey Hall of Famer rookie card added to that as well. And I'll probably throw in something else. Who knows? You never know when uh, you get prizes from Cardwolf in the mail what's going to be in there. So all right. So let's I think it's time to draw the winner. 
think it's time to do that. Let's get the uh, laptop over here. I've already loaded up the, uh, and I'll zoom in on this so you can see more clearly. I've already loaded up the, uh, where's the zoom? There we go. It'd be nice if I knew how to use my camera. All right, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Uh, I've already loaded up the uh, URL to uh, the contest video so that it will choose the name from that. I've made sure it will not uh, allow duplicate names and I've made sure that it will not choose from the replies. Otherwise I would probably win because I reply to all of your comments because I enjoy them very, very much and appreciate the dialogue. All right, so this is it guys. Let's see who will take home all of these great cards. Let's find out. Uh, it says I need to enter the video URL first and get the YouTube comments button. Wow, all right, well, let me let me see if I can do that. I thought I put all that in, so that's kind of weird that that's not on there. I wonder what, uh, what that not, yeah, there's the URL right there. And I ask for the comments. Not sure what the uh, deal is with that. All right, all right, well, there we go. I had to run that again. Um, all right, so let's see if it works this time. Always got to have some technical difficulties when you're doing this. It added to the suspense, really. That's how I like to look at that. All right, let's do this. Let's find out who's going to win these cards. It is Rose City Sports Cards. Congratulations to you, Rose City. You have been a long-time supporter of the channel, so I'm really happy to see you win. Congrats, Cardwolf, on the great milestone. I really like that story about Chuck Howley. Well, thank you very much, Rose City. I, I really appreciate you watching the channel. Low these many months, and uh, I'm really glad that you uh, joined us for the contest. So, Rose City Sports Cards, you will be taking these home, and I'll have to get your uh, your information. Uh, you can just email me that. I'm going to zoom back out and adjust the color. Nope, it's in. We don't want that. All right, I'm going to zoom back out and adjust the color so that it's not all yellow like that. Here we go, adjusting the color, and just like that, it's back to normal. How about that? All right, so let's get this uh, ready to go. Thank you, Rose City, once again, for all of your wonderful comments and support over the months, and uh, I will get these cards out to you. Just email me at cwcardwolf, cwcardwolf at gmail.com, and uh, I will make sure that uh, those cards get out to you. And I might throw some extra things in there for you. I think I know uh, specifically what uh, you like to collect. So there may be some extra little treats in there for you. You never know. So what are we doing now? Is that the end of the video? Is that the end? No, no, that's not the end of the video. We've got to open this box of football cards. Yes, that's what we're doing. Let's get Mr. Kershaw out here to help us get into this box of 2020 Chronicles football and see if we can pull some really great rookies. There are eight packs in here, five cards per pack, and there are several things that uh, we are supposed to be pulling out of here. Hopefully we'll get a, a Prism Black or a Clearly Done Risk, but we're not guaranteed that. We are guaranteed eight Blaster Exclusive Pink Parallels and uh, some other thing here. Oh, four Blaster Exclusive Prestige Rookies, so at least 10% of the cards in here will be Prestige Rookies. And we'll, uh, we'll see what those look like. I can't actually remember what the 2020 Prestige rookies look like these days. There are the packs. Let's get those out. Come on out, all of you packs. And uh, we'll, uh, my son's in here helping me out back there, so I just tossed him the box. So that's uh, some sort of a security tag in there. All right, eight packs. I just counted them. We're all set. So let's rip into these and see how we do. Hopefully we'll pull some great cards as we anticipate a great game tomorrow from the Bengals and the Rams. All right, so we start off with Derek Carr, whose team did make it to the playoffs but did not go that far. And then uh, oh, Baltimore Ravens, Ray Lewis, retired player, but not too bad. Take him into the Wolf Lair because I do collect Ravens and Orioles. Flip this one over and see what we have. This is... Nice rookie card of Henry Ruggs uh, the second. Unfortunately, that's not one that I'm particularly excited about, but here's a nice Donruss clear. That's pretty cool. That is Anthony McFarlane Jr., and that is a rated rookie clear, so that's pretty neat. Neat to find that one. And uh, last card in the pack is James Morgan of, uh, looks like, the Eagles. 
And uh, he's not a player I'm familiar with, actually. I don't remember seeing... Oh, he's from the Jets. Well, I don't watch a lot of Jets games, so that may be why. And they also got that other quarterback this year. What was his name again? I think you guys know who I'm talking about. So uh, let's open the second pack from that box. I'm a little nonplussed by that one, but I think this one's going to be better. I just have a feeling about that. All right, we start off with Cam Newton, who is no longer... Is he in football anymore? I don't, I don't think that he is. But uh, Cam Newton starts us off there, and then we flip this over. Looks like we got a juicy foil card back there. Justin Jefferson, that is a nice rookie. I'm happy to see that. And that's got the uh, little bronzy, goldy thing on there. So that one is going to go into the Wolf Lair. I do like. And there's a Justin Herbert, and that is one of the pink parallels. And that is a Justin Herbert rookie card right there. That's a sweet one. Very, very happy to see that. I know the Chargers didn't make the playoffs and didn't have the kind of year people anticipated, but let me tell you, that was not because of Justin Herbert. That had to do with some other factors. There is J.K. Dobbins. All right, Ravens rookie. Dobbins was injured all season, but he should be back next year, and hopefully he will uh, show his skills. Got a little uh, printing uh, issue here on the uh, surface, but still a nice card to find, and of course I collect the Ravens, so that goes right there. Gabe Davis, who had some big receptions for Josh Allen down the stretch, that's a nice rookie of him as well. So some, some much better pulls in that pack, in my opinion. Very happy with that one. Let's see how we do here. All right. Start off with uh, Brown's wide receiver. Mr. Jarvis Landry, if we can get this in focus. There you go, Jarvis Landry. And then uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, the wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And there is a Daryl Williams rookie card. That's pretty good. He ended up doing pretty well for the Chiefs this year when CEH went down. So that may be one to hold on to. And there is DeAndre Swift. And this is a special, special insert. And my little little tiny font on there. I can't quite read what that uh, special, special insert is. I think this is a Dyna, Dyna something. I can't remember what this is called, but this is a nice insert of DeAndre Swift, and I think, uh, you know, if he can uh, go to a different team, perhaps, he may have better success. He's a really talented guy. And here is Jalen Rieger, another rookie card there. Very nice. We're pulling a lot of rookies here, which I feel pretty good about. So that's great. Let's see if maybe we can pull a Jonathan Taylor, maybe a Joe Burrow, get uh, a little something even more exciting out of this box. And here we've got a rookie card of Jordan Love, who, you know, we'll have to see what the new MVP, well, not new, this is the second year in a row for Aaron Rodgers being the MVP, but uh, we'll have to see where he goes in the offseason, if he stays with the Packers or goes elsewhere. I have a a suspicion that he may be lured away to the Buccaneers. Just uh, some early suspicion there since Brady retired. So Jordan Love, rookie, not too bad. Zach Moss, rookie there for the Buffalo Bills. Another Buffalo Bills card veteran wide receiver, Stephon Diggs, and that is one of the pink parallels that we were promised. Very nice. Here is a clear vision, and there's uh, James Robinson in the back there, but there's a nice, another DeAndre Swift. This is a uh, out of focus, and I'll bring that up because it's a really pretty card. Come on now. It's camera, I tell you. All right, there you go. You can see that's a really very pretty card. Clear Vision DeAndre Swift rookie card. This is clearly a DeAndre Swift hot box of some kind. Uh, that's not too bad, though. Like I said, I think he's a very talented wide receiver. One of quite a few really great wide receivers to come out in this... Uh, this product, this year of cards. A.J. Brown starts us off in this pack. Tennessee Titans wide receiver. And there is another Justin Herbert rookie. How about that? That is awesome. I'll take those all day. I think Justin Herbert is a very talented quarterback with a great future in the league, so we'll put that in the wolf lair. Another Henry Ruggs the second. I wish I could be more excited about that because I think that's also one of the pink parallels that we were promised. All right, here we go. Justin Jefferson. Two Justin Jefferson cards back to back. That is awesome. Two Justin Jefferson rookies. This is a clear rated rookie, which is a really beautiful card. I like that a lot. And then there is the Panini rookie card, and that's that's a nice one too. I really like Justin Jefferson. I think he's quite talented, and if they can get a better quarterback up there and get rid of that Cousins guy, I think the Vikings would have a real shot at things. 
All right, so we got three packs left. Let's see what is in this one for us. Still looking for that Burrow or that Jonathan Taylor rookie. Would like to see that. Another Stefan Diggs greets us as the first card out of this pack. And there's a T. Higgins rookie. Not too bad. Like to see that. That's a pretty good one. I suspect T. Higgins will be catching some passes tomorrow. T.J. Hawkinson is, I think, the last of our pink parallels. I think you get four, and I think that is number four for us. He's a tight end who uh, did pretty well this season, actually. And, oh, man, here we go. That is what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. C.D. Lamb. That is a momentum rookie right there. That is that is a beautiful card. Really like that, and I do not have that in my collection, and I do uh, PC C.D. Lamb, so that is pretty cool. Really like that clear card. Very nice card. That's definitely going in the Wolf Lair. And the last card in the pack was Michael Pittman Jr., also a rookie of him. And I think the Colts are going to be quite good next year if they can shift their offense away from relying on Carson Wentz and instead rely more on Jonathan Taylor. All right, we've got two packs left. Let's get into this. The penultimate pack of 2020 Chronicles today. <clears throat> Let's see what we can pull from here. And here's another TJ Hawkinson, because you can't have enough TJ Hawkinson, apparently. And uh, Chris Godwin, Tampa Bay. And what we have here looks like a Clyde Edwards Allaire rookie. That's pretty nice. I don't think I have that one. And uh, I do think he's really good. We're going to put that in the Wolf Lair as well. J.K. Dobbins, yes, another Ravens running back rookie card of J.K. Dobbins. Love to see that. That's going to go in the Wolf, Wolf Lair, and that's a Prism Black. Last card in the pack. <clears throat> is another Ravens rookie. That's Patrick Queen, linebacker for them. Definitely put that in the Wolf Lair. And we've got one last pack. One last pack on this contest winner pre-Super Bowl episode of A Card Wolf. And we start off with Travis Kelsey. You know, I really thought the Chiefs would be in the Super Bowl, but they couldn't quite do it. But uh, Kelsey had a really good year. Cole Komet, rookie for the Bears. Another Chris Godwin. That's another pink parallel. Look at that. I thought that we were all done with those, but it's hard for me to keep track when we go through these. Another Chris Godwin there. And uh, James Robinson, Clear Vision. That is also a rookie card. I don't really watch a lot of games featuring the Jaguars, so I actually don't know how he did this year, but... Uh, James Robinson, clear vision there. Very nice. And the last card is a rookie, Tua. All right. Not too bad there either. Tua had a better year than he had previously. So I think, you know, there's some potential there for him to continue to improve. And that is our opening today. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, congratulations to our winner. I am going to just uh, lay these out to remind us of some of the really nice pulls that I, I got out of this box. Really happy with some of these uh, a lot of Ravens rookies, which you know I love, and uh, nice, very nice C.D. Lamb in there, a couple of Justin Herberts, a couple of Justin Jeffersons, too. That was a nice box. I'm pretty happy with that. All of these will go into my PC, but if you saw something in the remainder of these cards, of which there are many good ones, if you saw something in there that you PC, a player that you're really into, or a team that you really like and you'd like to trade for something, please just let me know. I'm really, really happy to uh, make trades. You guys know what I like, and I'm, I'm honestly up for anything. I collect a lot of different stuff, not just Ravens and Orioles. I collect all kinds of stuff. So, you know, any trade you propose is going to be one that I probably just say, okay. Thank you once again for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys have a great weekend and that the Super Bowl is an awesome game for us all. I'll probably not do an episode tomorrow, but I'll be back on Monday with something wild and crazy for you guys, as always. See you soon, and as always, happy collecting.